What's up guys, your Doomsday here, and today we're back again. In this match we're going to be playing some Black Feather in the bot lane. And I just uploaded a Weapon Pair Black Feather video a couple days ago, so I go and check that out if you have not. But this time we're going to go on the CP route, and the CP route is generally considered the broken route. And that's usually the reason why Black Feather is banned in almost every single match, just because Weapon Pair is, like, above average, but then CP is just broken. So hopefully we can show that off in this video. I've, I honestly have no idea who we're laning against. Both of our team comps are super weird. We'll see. Okay, so it looks like since Warhawk is top lane, I'm assuming Ishtar is mid. Rhyme's probably drunk. Yeah, so we're laning against Petal. That's kind of a tricky matchup, because Petal actually does super well into melees early on. We won't, like, I'm not going to be able to trade out, I'm not going to be able to out-trade this Petal or engage or anything early on. And with Blackfeather, you don't necessarily have to push it early, you could just farm up and then go and get a shop in. Normally after your first shop, you could do pretty decent trading, but until then, you could just try and farm up. Because if I engage right now, Petal will just jump away and then the minions will just like eat me alive and I'll lose this trade so hard. That's so weird laning against Petal. I've like never laned against a Petal. Petal was the one top laner that I never played. I never liked playing it. So this is a weird matchup. Yeah, I just have to try and last hit with my abilities and stuff. Yeah, one mistake that a lot of people make is they'll just be super impatient and start going for trades instead of just, like, playing a patient and waiting for their power spikes. That's why, like, people do worse with heroes that have, like, late-game power spikes, because they just try and push it early instead of playing a patient. Just trying to get farmed. Okay, Petal just popped their flask. So that's fine. Please give me this pigment. Okay, I got it. Nice. See, it's so weird. These these turret shots, they're like focusing the pedal minions. I'm thinking that they're going to target like the actual minions. So, <laughs> it's screwing up. See, like I thought it's not going to attack that minion. That's oh, so weird. This, this is a new experience for me. But yeah, since I'm not going to gank or anything, I can't really shove this in. Just have to wait, I guess. Wait it out. And I can't really recall right now or else I'm going to miss so many minions because the wave is shoved in. Ooh, looks like this pedal's backing off, actually. So I can shove this in and then get a reset, which will be good for me. They're probably going to heal or recall, and I have no idea which one. It looked like they're heading for the healer because they were going, like, upwards. We'll see in a sec, I guess. Okay, yeah, they just went for healer. Okay. I'm almost level 6. Once I get level 6, that's going to be pretty good. So I can get a good shop in here. Heavy Prism is like an item that you want to aim for at the start with the Black Feather CP, if you want. It's a pretty good item to pick up for a shop. Let's see, how far behind am I? I'm only 200 gold behind. That's pretty good, saying that the Petals had the advantage the entire early game. Now I could start trading, actually. Ooh, this Petal didn't recall. I can kill him right here. They already popped Flask. Oh, they got it back. That's fine. I still have all my stuff. Nice, okay. Yeah, that's a big mistake by them. Because I got in a shop right there. Like, I could have also boots if I needed to. But I didn't have to waste it. See, like, notice how the damage difference there versus, like, before I got in the shop. It just does so much to your first shop. 
But like, if you just go to lane, start trying to trade right away, die, and then shop and stuff, you give them so much gold and you won't be able to do as much. So that's a pretty big advantage for me. Can shove the sun. Make Petal miss a bunch of farm. But yeah, there's a couple different builds you can go on Blackfeather. I'm going to be going for Shatterglass, Spellfire, Broken Myth, and then like, fourth item, you can go like Frost for an Eve. Whatever you feel like, really. But you can also go like, Spellfire, Aftershock, something along those lines. Now, Aftershock's generally better, like, if you're falling behind on gold, if you're getting starved, or if you're up in top lane and you're getting like 2v1 the entire time. It's pretty good then. Now, oh, those petals wasting all of their ults. Ooh, I can turn this round too. He just wasted his V ability. Let's see if I can get an engage. Nice, okay. Yeah, once he, w once he wasted all of his ults, I was pretty free to engage. Like, I never would have engaged if he still had all of his ults, because then he would just heal up and kite back, and then be able to turn on me. But since he used all of his ults, and then he used his V ability, so I knew once I got onto him, he had really no way to escape. So that was a pretty enga good engage right there. I can shove this in and then get a nice shop in. Uh, actually, uh, I don't think I need a recall. I could just go to the shop right here. I can heal up from the book. Oh, dang, this rhymes here. Crap, I can't get to the shop. Dang, I should have just recalled. Yikes. I was not expecting rhyme to be here. Ugh, I can't get to the shop. He just wasted his root, so I can get to it now. Yeah, we should not fight that. That is not a fight I want to take. We cannot fight a rhyme right now. Yikes, that Miho is... I don't know why he's still fighting. Just leave. Yeah, we can't really fight a rhyme this early. Once I get my spell fire, I probably can, but just not yet. Yeah, I'm just gonna dip. They can't really push this herd. If they do, I can easily force them off. Like, I'm not gonna let this rhyme get turret damage onto me. Look how much damage that does. Hmm, that pedal got lucky. This thing's when they use their A ability, like, and plant the seed things. Those things are so annoying to go against. I hate going against this. Yeah, look how much damage my A ability did. Another thing that people forget is your A ability on Black Feather, weapon power or CP is an execute. So the lower health the enemy is, the more damage it does. It's like you really need to use that to your advantage. Just get as much damage as you can, and right when they're about to get away, just execute them. You can usually delete them. But yeah, not level 8. Level 8's pretty good because you get the extra range on your on point. Yeah, level 6 and level 8 are two really important points for you, because level 6, you get your two ult charges, which are super good in trading, and then level 8, you get the extended range. And then from there, it's usually just item power spikes. You don't really have, like, too many more ability power spikes and stuff. Let's see if I can get some turret damage here. I can maybe get, I think I can get the entire shirt. Never mind, actually. This pedal is back. Oh, this wave is in a weird spot. Like, I want to get this farm, but this pedal's like half zoning me out. Okay, there's the flask. That's fine. I stole my own, plus I have my ult charges. So that's fine with me. Oh, this pedal has a shroud. What the? Whoa. I did not realize that. Dang, I do like no damage to him. Dang, that's kind of toxic. I like can't kill him now. That's super annoying. Okay. 
I still want to try and get this turret if I can. I can still poke this pedal, but I don't know if I could force him out. Yeah, it's kind of tricky because this pedal still wins extended trades, like, I can only poke, but they could, like, actually trade. There's so much rubber band whenever I use my abilities, like, so weird. I'm still down to fight this because I got flask plus ult charges. You could turn a lot of stuff around with that. Hmm, dang, the ult didn't hit. I could have maybe committed and gotten it, but I had no idea if the pedal still had flask. I was not keeping track of the time. So I was worried that they, if, if they still had flask and I would have ulted in, they probably could have killed me. And I didn't really want to risk that. Since I have a bounty, they're barely worth any gold if I kill them. It's not worth it. But yeah, I can get some turret damage. Hopefully I can finish off. Dang, they're back already? What the? I swear, they just recalled like a couple seconds ago. And that shroud is still annoying me. But yeah, honestly, that's why Petal was such a good pick. Like, before this whole community edition thing started, back in the meta, because it could hold turrets super well. And the meta was like, take that bot turret, or take the top turret as fast as you can. But Petal can actually hold it. Yeah, like, I'm gonna lose my turret here. I shouldn't have gone for the healer, I should have kept on trying to defend. Yeah, because well now this Miho rotates. Ah, uh, this is a bad rotation from the jungler. Like, my turret's already gone. I do not have a big enough wave to push. It's kind of pointless. Oh, dang. I need a shop. I have so much gold. What the? Dude, this has been one long lane phase. Like, but now half the matches in Community Edition are over. Have some Surrender, AFK, Steamroll, Snowball. This one's still going in the lane phase at 13 minutes. Enemy hero Wait, what? We already lost our top two turrets. What the? Okay. But what's Miho been doing this entire match? How do we lose two top turrets and you didn't rotate bot like a single time? Okay, never mind, it's fine. Okay, this is just obnoxious. Because, like, normally, like, lane phase ends, like, once you lose one of the... For, or once you lose one of these turrets over here. Normally, bot lane gets the turret. So this is just a little bit different. Oh, dang. The boots saved him there. If he didn't have boots, I would have definitely killed him. I think I could just poke this guy out. Your B does so much damage if you can actually land it. Oh, he's still here. Ooh, maybe I can kill him. We'll see. There's his flask. I stole my own. I can turn. Nice. Okay. Like he wasn't even close to killing me there. I stole an old. I stole another old charge. I still had my boots. Could have landed another on point. Got me a barrier. And how is our top wave still pushing? What is our kinetic doing? <laughs> like we're about to lose our last top turret already. Okay, that's a good build on pedal actually. Really, all you need is like two shatter glasses and then just a bunch of tank. That was the meta build. 
Because you need the two shatter glasses for your... Oh, this room's here. The two shatter glasses is nice for your ult. Since your ult, it heals based off how much CP you have. And shatter glasses just make the heal so much. Yikes. I don't know about this. I can only poke at him. I can't, like, hard engage yet. I don't have the defense or anything to, like, get out of Rhyme Roots and then ult me. Oh, that shroud is so obnoxious. Now oh, I gotta get out of this. Okay, I got nothing left. I just burned my boots and stuff. Don't have flask up yet. Yeah, I'm pretty fed right now. That's pretty good. I actually have a pretty decent amount of CS too. Saying the pedal had the advantage the entire early match. This is pretty good. Oh wait, they're still pushing bot lane? What the... Okay. I was about to go for that. Please don't die. Okay, nice. That was a good steal. Petals in mid, hopefully I can shove this in. Ooh, Ishtar's down here. Yeah, this is not a fight we want. Oh, he's just boots in away the second he sees me. I can go for an infuse, and I can get chargers now. I really need my boots. Probably should have gotten him a little bit ago. Oh crap, this is Charcy and I don't have boots. I am dead. Crap. Wait, actually, can I get out of this? No, I can't run from this pedal. Dang. Oh, that was close. Please shove that in. Maybe they can get the turret. That was a good rotation for Mishtar. I really wasn't expecting that. They're still pushing ball in. I think they can get this mid turret. What the heck? We're dying to a fin out here? Okay, never mind, we were not getting that mid turret, and we were losing our bot turret. Okay, it's fine. We'll manage. That Ishtar is going to be a problem now. And Miho's taking my wave. Yeah, that's kind of bad. I probably should have just bought boots instead of the infuse. If I would have bought boots, I would have been fine. I don't know why I hold off on boots for so long. Okay, I'm gonna just give up on this bot turret. Like, I really can against this pedal. It's just, like, impossible. Even though I'm so far ahead, I just can't get the wave shoved in. And pedal is pretty good wave clear. So, yeah. There's not much I could really do. I am a man of peace. Honestly, though, I think we can win team fights. I think we can. And we lost our top turret. Okay. Well, I guess we have no more top turrets. I guess if we lose a team fight, then we lose the match. We'll see. Okay, let's do something. There's they just wasted their crucible and fountain and everything. Oh wait, I can get the sister. Nice. Okay. That's fine. That was a shutdown too. That's nice. Uh, this is kind of weird.
We have like a heavy poke. We we can't really engage. Not with the Samuel. Samuel's not exactly an engage here. You just gotta poke him down low enough, and then you can engage. Like once they get super low. That's really gonna play how we're gonna have to play these confines. It's weird because Miho is like hard engaged, and then Samuel is like don't engage, just poke. Oh, actually, they've just burned everything. I honestly think once we poke him down a bit more, we should definitely go on to him. I think we can get him if we keep on poking. Like, we can easily turn our fight around if Miho gets a good ult. Oh, uh, Miho doesn't have ult. You can tell because there's no white dot next to it. Oh, they just got ult up. They're all... They just wasted everything. Miho should just engage. Miho, ult. Ult Miho. They just use Crucible too. Uh, I can't do anything when the Sishtar is ult up. Like, they just completely wreck me when they have ult. I can still win this actually. I still have block flask and everything up. Nice, second. Okay. We're able to clean that up. Although that did not exactly go how I wanted to, then ended up working out. And our waves are still pushing, so. Gotta go back to bot lane. But yeah, once they burned everything, I definitely think Miho should have ulted. You can tell, because look at how next to my level, underneath my name, there's a dot there. That means I have my ult up. So at first, Miho didn't have that dot next to their name, so I knew they didn't have ult. But then once it showed up, we should have engaged. Because if me, me and Miho like dive in right away, then we could like instantly delete half their team, and then we could just back off once Ishtar ults. Because when Ishtar ults, none of us really have enough damage to like match up with them straight up. Because the life steal from the Ishtar ult is just insane and it's so good at like 1v1s and stuff and kiting back. Like, look at that, they just completely like delete the same ult. Okay, this is just overextended so much for that. Oh, we can still win this. Ooh, that was a good ult. Nice, okay. That was good. That was great. See, like, once we bait out that extra ult, honestly, we win team fights like, so easily. And I'm already full build, that's pretty early. Got a nice black claw too. Although it's not in rage, it's still gonna be pretty good. Oh, it's a CP kinetic. I did not realize that, honestly. That is a bad build for CP kinetic though. CP kinetic, you can make it work, but. Oh, we gotta turn, we gotta change our focus. No, no, don't. Oh, uh, they kept on. F oh my gosh, they got it. Wow, that was so troll. I can't believe that just happened. That was sad. The second ramp showed up, we needed to change focus. We shouldn't have kept on focusing the dragon. Like the Miho and Lyra kept on trying to last at the dragon. Like if you leave the dragon with a decent amount of health though and you just turn onto the rhyme, we could have killed him before the dragon even got like that low. Could we could have like instantly deleted the Miho or instantly deleted the rhyme too. Because Miho could have just stunned him up and then I have my abilities and execute. No, that's fun. At least we got some nice gold out of it for our teammates. I'm full build, so it really doesn't even matter. Samuel needs to snack this. And I think Samuel AFK'd. Well, let's see if I can get this. Nice, second. Okay. Well, I guess Samuel's AFK. Looks like Kinetic is AFK too, so. Looks like we're gonna have to try and 3v5 this. Grab the last hits at least, like. He needs the gold. Okay, wait, never mind. Don't get this. <laughs> Don't get that. They're still pushing up. I don't know, this might be doable. If we poke enough, and then if Miho can land good ults and get good engages, I think we can.
Yeah, definitely not when they have this ghost wing buff though. This rhyme doesn't have the buff. Ooh. No, I wasn't I was had to go to bot lane. That might have been a good engage if I was still there. Wasn't exactly paying attention. Yeah, this is a weird spot. Oh, I can't really can't do much, just poke at him and back out. That ghosting buff is like negating most of my poke though, it's really annoying. Oh no, nope, we got a dip. Yeah, see, once the Sishtar comes in. Oh wait, she, Blair just ulted him to me. Yeah, because I can't die here. If I die here, we're going to lose the match. Now, as long as I stay alive, I can defend the vein. It's so annoying to chase with the pedal here. The seeds are like screwing me over. This is sure doesn't have volt, so I'm not too worried right now. Yeah, they they definitely can't end. We're just slowly chipping away at them. Although they got like all of our armories, two of them. That's gonna be hard to deal with the waves now. But at least we're getting kills, so they can't end. Ooh, can I chase? Ooh, that was a good ult. That was a good ult. That was a bit of excessive of an ult right there, but... It worked. Ooh, this Ishtar's here. Where is the Ishtar? Oh, they're probably on the other side. They're probably gone by now. It's fine. Uh, That wave needs to be cleared. Ooh, Samuel's back. Nice. Somebody needs to get that wave. I'm not going to recall because I need to be with the push. I think Mi Miho needs to recall. If anybody Miho should. No wait, the liar's putting the dragon aggro onto him. Oh my gosh. Wait, oh, the Samuel went back. Samuel should have saved. Samuel is so much better at sieging turrets. You get so much AoE and poke with Samuel. But Miho it's much harder, because if you don't land the ult, then you're useless with the push. And I can keep on just poking at him. Okay, that was such a late ult. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Yeah, because we gotta leave. Don't fight this. See, like, Miho just did, like, nothing there. If we had Samuel, at least we could have poked him down a bit. Getting a bit more damage. Are they going to try and end here? They might. I, I think we could still hold it off. It's hard for me to engage by myself because the pedal is so good at kiting back and then I don't want to get like CC'd by Rhyme and then Finn. Ooh, the Sish Shards back here. That was a good spot. I'm actually going to buy a Crucible for the Finn hook. Okay, let's try and defend this. Oh, we can easily defend this. What the heck? I just delete this guy. Get back here. Yeah, that was a bad hook. They just hooked him right to me, so I'll take that. Okay, we we can end, I think. If we just push up... We could just push in this wave, and then we can end. No, push in the wave. Okay, they just want to end right away? Wait, this Samuel isn't coming. We can't do this 3v2. They're going to have two people defending. No, we don't, don't, don't stop. Just clear the wave. Wait, they're coming in from top. Oh, crap. What? No. Oh, these minions are stopping me from recalling. And this is how we lose. Okay. Well, that's... 
unfortunate, I'd say. I thought that they would be defending their turrets. Like, that's surprising that they went for that. I didn't really expect that. But anyways, yeah, that was a bad call. I don't know why we just went for straight for the end. I was trying to clear the minions in the middle, but I don't know. I think there's a bit of mid miscommunication. So, oh well, it is what it is. So anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you have not. Thanks for watching. Share with your friends. Comment down below, and I'll...